Good morning. I'm B from TitaniumTime.com and thank you for gracing us for this event for the 10th year anniversary of TW Steel. It's my pleasure. Well, I only have about eight questions since okay. we've seen, we've met during the last week. Yeah. So the first question is, what does Apex stand for? I know it means like uh, you reach a certain level. So yeah, for... it's the peak. Okay. So literally it means uh, peak or like the highest uh, moment. So we have really created this, uh, this uh, limited edition as the culmination of the canteen watch. So the canteen watch is the first watch that we came out with uh, 10 years ago. So we thought, okay, what better way to really commemorate this than to create the most stunning piece of this kind of action ever. So that's why we kind of gave get the name uh, Apex, because it means the peak, so the highest point of the canteen ever. Second of all, there is also a second meaning. It's a link to uh, motorsports. Okay. So obviously, we are very well into motorsports already since day one. And Apex kind of the stands for the perfect line when you uh, take a corner. It's like the perfect line where you hit the uh, close part of the corner. Yes, That's I know. Close to because I, I covered the F1 last okay. week. Oh, so, so, yeah. so those are the main two reasons. So number one is because of the peak, because it's the best canteen ever. Mm -hmm. And number two is a link to uh, both sports. Alright, so can you say that this is uh, your favorite collection right now? Or do you still have another collection of TW Steel that you favor over the years? Um, yeah, the canteen obviously has a special place, mm -hmm. a special place in my heart because mm -hmm. it's the because it's the first one ever out there. But honestly speaking, I'm a big fan of the Grandeur Tech. Okay, Grandeur Tech is a very bold and industrial looking watch. It's very raw. It's very uncompromising, and you don't find anything like it in the market. So I really like that. This is what I wasn't able to ask you during your first visit. How many TW Steel watches do you own? Uh, I would say about uh, really on 12. 12 pieces? 12 pieces, yeah. How many automatic out of the 12? Oh, I'm a pretty much a uh, big automatic fan compared to, uh, compared to many people in Brazil. I would say 70%, 60 70% okay. is automatic. Okay. Yeah. So, what is the aspect of horology timepieces that are you most fascinated with? Some people like the design, some people are after the intricacies of how many jewels it has, some people are into the history of the watch. Personally, I'm into the technicalities of the watch yeah. and how sturdy it is. So, what aspect of it fascinates you? I'm more fascinated about the design part, mm -hmm. and then especially if there is a story, uh, if there is a specific story behind the watch. Uh, maybe it comes from the fact that I'm a, a marketeer. So, I'll, so I'm always looking at an angle. So for instance, uh, for instance, if you take this canteen watch, mm -hmm. and then you have the whole story about the Second World War and, and why this crowd and why the hook are there, that's really something that I'm uh, very interested in. If you look at it more on a product level, then perhaps I'm very drawn to the case in itself. Okay. Uh, Movement-wise, yeah, it's also something that I'm uh, looking at, especially if if I look around at Basel World, for instance, you see all the special uh, movements that people make. Something very nice, but the, in terms of the design, it's the, the story behind it, and probably the whole case. The case, because that, that really gives the body to a uh, uh, watch. Moving on, uh, in terms of price points for TW Steel, does T T I noticed personally that TW Steel introduces new price points in terms of luxury, entry level luxury. TW Steel has always been known as entry level luxury watches. Right, right. So, are you guys planning to move up while your audience, your watch lovers, grows with you and also in economic status? Does that mean that TW Steel, in terms of price points, will also move along as a high-end luxury watch or you plan to stay in your segment? Uh, we might, no, uh, we're uh, staying where we are okay. most comfortable. So that I'm is so the, happy to hear that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, that's really our sweet spot. Our sweet okay. spot is really the price range we are in now. Mm -hmm. So we feel that uh, we can offer a 
beautiful timepiece okay. uh, to many of our following. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're uh, uh, just more on the budget level or if you want something more uh, higher up, we have Swiss made, we have non Swiss made, so okay. we're, we're very comfortable with our price I'm going to merge the next question. What are your top markets right now globally and how does the Philippines compare to the other markets? Philippines is always in our top markets. Uh, yeah. Top five? Top ten. Philippines is uh, close to the top five. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So if you look at our top markets, it's uh, traditionally it has been in Western Europe, so Germany and Netherlands, UK, very strong, Australia is strong. In the United States, of course, but the Philippines is up there. I mean, it's really globally. Yeah, it's really, it's definitely a top ten player, and it's uh, closer to number five than it's uh, than it's to number ten. So I'm very proud of what you guys have uh, done here. It's always good to be here and to sample it for first hand. Always when I do a tour uh, around the boutique stores, it's pretty special. And finally, what would you tell Titanium Time fans on? You see people, there is still a lot of people who don't own a watch or plan to own a watch. I noticed that if you stick to a particular brand, you tend to stick to that brand for years or decades to come. So right. what would you tell them off the bat, would tell them to convince them or why would they choose TW Steel? Why TW Steel across all the different brands out there? That's a very good question and uh, I would say you know, we at TW Steel we like to say that it's not a watch, but it's a statement. And we very much believe in the statement. So it's not just a piece of product that you put on the wrist, but it's a statement saying that you're bold, uh, that you're ambitious, that you are maximizing time. I think that that's something very, very useful. Well, thank you very much for your time. Um, we appreciate your time here in the Philippines. And okay. we'd really like you to, have, to be here again for whatever events the TW still will be having. Yeah, sure.